In the recent recapture of the Syrian city of Raqqa from Daesh, the SDF was America's sole partner. But to Turkey, the SDF have always been terrorists. Nothing more than another name for the YPG, the Syrian branch of the PKK terror group operating in southeastern Turkey. Publicly, the American couldn't or simply wouldn't see it. Now it's stirring them in the face. In the middle of Raqqa, the SDF, whose members are predominantly YPG, has unfurled a giant banner of the PKK's leader, Abdullah Ocalan. You see, they're raising the banner of terrorist PKK leader in Raqqa. How is the U.S. going to explain this? It says it recognizes the PKK as a terrorist group. A similar thing happened in France. They raised a PKK flag there, and the French police did nothing but look on. How can they explain this? Is this what cooperation against terrorism is? When we meet them, they say they stand with us against terrorism. We don't believe that. You are not standing with us. From the beginning, Turkey has warned the Americans against arming the SDF, even if the United States considered them the best option for defeating Daesh. The concern has always been that the American weapons given to the SDF in Syria would find their way north across the border and into the hands of the outlawed PKK in Turkey. The U.S. understood it didn't look good. It couldn't be seen to be arming the YPG, an enemy of its NATO ally, Turkey. A rebranding of the YPG as the SDF was called for, a fact made clear back in 2015. Uh, the first time Brett McGurk and I went out to this very old, cold guild hall in, in Kobani, right on the Turk border, we went in there, a bunch of somber, you know, technocrats and military people, and you know whose who's beaming face is looking down on us from the, t from the front of the, of the guild hall, but Ocalan. And we said, hey, that's got to go. You, can't, you cannot hold on to Ocalan and, and have any chance of legitimacy in, this, in the construct we're in. The SDF's decision to raise a panel of the PKK's Abdullah Ocalan in Raqqa is politically embarrassing for the U.S. It is, in effect, a public declaration that the U.S. has been arming Turkey's enemy. While perhaps vindicated, the Turkish government is unlikely to be satisfied in being able to tell its NATO ally, I told you so. Ahmed al burai TRT word, Hatay on the Turkish border with Syria.